It was great getting to know Curly and this amazing guy that tattooed with one arm. You know, the customer had to stretch his own skin. So I did get blood poisoning from him twice. Twice? Yeah. <laughs> twice? <laughs> Ed Hardy brought this whole uh, Japanese influence into American tattooing. Once Dave Shore come onto the scene, it was like tattooing completely changed. If anybody could say anything about greaseballed Japanese, it's fucking Dave Shore. Salty, piratey, bikery, just hard not to do. Man, he'd pull in on his chopper with the tattoos and the girls, and I mean, he was just like so cool, man. He captured vulgarity and pleasure and insanity and recklessness. Tattoo in the 80s or 70s, just not the same, uh, yeah. You had to be a tough guy. I was scared shitless. Even though I was, a, you know, kind of a biker guy, these were bigger biker guys, you know? I'm not totally sure you could paint the picture accurately to somebody now getting into tattooing about what it was like then. And the only reason I, f I would say or I feel that way, though, is because they might not believe you. We had the limo waiting for him with all the lines of blow lined up at the airport. This is the way we do it in Canada. <laughs> in the like, 80s, 90s, Paul, Paul Jeffries was like the king of tattooing. It wasn't just in Canada. Like, am I supposed to stop tattooing? Because if this is what I'm supposed to aspire to, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Each one of these old masters influenced groups of tattooers who in turn influenced other groups of tattooers. The Hold Fast Social Club presents So You're Kinda a Big Deal with your hosts, Sean Headley and Dave Allen. Welcome to So You're Kinda a Big Deal, a weekly podcast deep diving into the lives of emerging and established tattoo artists. Listen in as we dig into origin stories, industry hot topics, and what it takes to survive in the world of tattooing. This is Tattoo Shop Talk. It's funny, it's crass, inspiring, and sometimes we get it right. Join your hosts, Sean Headley and Dave Allen, every week as we host a new guest. So we do our, 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 three, our 30 second sound check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hello, Allie. Hi. Good to see you in person. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Super yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you're on the podcast. Yes, Life's so probably changed a lot. huge, a lot, right? It's like, too much for me right now. The, yeah. lineup, the lineup at the at your booth was crazy. Like, Because <laughs> yeah. of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Autographs and everything. Yeah. 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 Your yeah. dad dad was like, dude, I got to get her security now. I know. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't my dad's big back piece he's doing. Yeah. It's just because I'm <laughs> watching him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh. so what were our questions we were gonna ask her top five but we already did that uh, yeah i'm gonna ask her how was saskatoon convention it was awesome yeah yeah i love i love like edmonton's obviously good so far it's my first time doing edmonton but yeah. saskatoon was awesome yeah because it was just last weekend yeah awesome. so yeah it's been a busy little bit yeah yeah <laughs> nice. um but yeah i know lots of good tattoos <laughs> <laughs> Just get um, a little closer. <laughs> no, I, I honestly, like, I was telling my dad and Anthony that I wish that they were there because I felt like it was one of my, like, best, like, conventions. I feel like oh. confident because it's the start of a new year and I feel like there's a lot of space between my last one and this one. Yeah. So I felt pretty good. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah, yeah you got to do a lot of tattoos. Exactly. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. really Sweet. good. <laughs> yeah. That's a busy show. That's good. Yeah. For that. and, uh, and I was beside uh, Ryan Gagne. Oh, dope. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know. So I, was, I was, like, went up to him, like, I saw your podcast. <laughs> and he was like, I saw your podcast. I'm Ryan. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, that was pretty yeah. cool. It was cool for uh, him to talk to me and even look at my tattoos. It was nerve wracking. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, so he's like nice. your dad. He's the nicest fucking guy. Yeah. Just that, you know, they don't look like it sometimes, right? Yes. You're, you're, you know, it's so I used to always tease your dad about that, actually. I was just like, oh, you know, because you're such an asshole. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and he's not. It's yeah, like because like, he's no. quiet or because he's reserved or yeah. shy or whatever. Because give your dad a couple beers at a clutch show. 
You're fine. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. And yeah, it's the yeah. same, you know? So, yeah. but yeah, that's good that you had so much fun. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Are, are we going to crack the bottle of whiskey? Are you going to be the first one? We're giving everybody a test here. I'm curious who the first person is. Yeah. I can try it. All Just right. Just a sip. All a right, sip. cool. If it's a, I'm not a huge uh, whiskey person, so if I make a weird face. Oh. Fuck. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's pretty awesome to see the three of you in the Is it cool? convention, like all together working in the same booth. That's Have you guys seen that yet? All of us working together? No, I haven't been to a convention in like 10 years. So. Is it? Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I can't get that. Oh, fuck. Watch me be able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Saves us again. <laughs> right? Oh, no. don't have my knife on me. Shan, what is this bullshit you bought us? God damn it, Shan. Oh, no, we don't have to try it. No, no. <laughs> no. They, trust me. It's not the first bottle of whiskey I opened. <laughs> I'd laugh if it was like a, like a wine cork. <laughs> it's like vinegar. No. Oh, yeah. It is Irish whiskey. <laughs> oh, it's, no, it's even better then. It should be triple distilled. Here, you pour it. You're much closer to the glasses. Red breast. Definitely a nice, nice twelve-year-old. How was the podcasting then? Is that a good question? Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, so you guys fun. are loving it, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, I was really nervous when I went on last time, but it was actually really fun. You, I feel like you could tell too through my podcast. I was nervous at first. Oh yeah, everybody. I know. Every, my two, look at my Doug two best. Fink. I know. Yeah. So <laughs> my two best friends watched it, and they were like kind of laughing at first. They were like, "Allie, like, get out! Come on, talk more." And I'm like, "I don't know. I was so nervous." <laughs> yeah, that's normal, you know. Like, I think everybody's been nervous, really. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. I God, you know. the first five we did, I was pretty much like pit yes. sweat, like crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel you like want... it's because you know everyone's just gonna, you know, a lot of your friends are gonna watch it, and a lot of you no. know, it's kind of yeah. scary. Yeah, it's been like I think we have four followers. I think we're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> We can say we're what, whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Woohoo. Woo. <laughs> That's that not bad. Nice. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. I haven't had that in a long time. All right. A lot of good notes in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, describe it. What are you tasting right now? Some, it kind of tastes like hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> but like I know, I know it's not true. I'm just so like no, I can get it. My my dad told me you have to acquire to the taste because he drinks this kind of stuff. Yeah, and I always try it every time, and I'm slowly gonna build up. You probably when I'm like 50, I'll be like sipping in my chair. <laughs> you probably a, a 50. You, you probably <laughs> you'd probably appreciate it if you didn't drink hairspray. <laughs> 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 yeah, so maybe that's why. No, yeah. lost some brain cells. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Tastes like hairspray. Cool. Maybe cut back on the hairspray. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh, oh fantastic do you have anything lined up for this weekend um i have some tomorrow oh, that was all i that's all i kind of booked though today yeah. i'm hoping to do some up for grabs and have fun and meet people and try and talk a bit more so nice awesome. that's yeah. always a good thing yeah, yeah. exactly so we'll yeah, see. putting yourself out there yep yep yeah, yeah, awesome exactly. yeah. cool do you have me more, more people lined up for this we're just gonna go randomly just go out randomly and grab up? people yeah. that we can, you know, and just yeah. say I did it, and we just have to do it exactly. You know? Totally, right? be like, we'll just bring you back in in like forty minutes, and we'll do another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, do, give, give me a couple of those. Come back like, every so, hour. Yeah. See how I'm feeling. <laughs> Ali texts after one drink. <laughs> Ali texts after twelve drinks. <laughs> and that's what actually. She's just gonna take over the show. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I like, just take it, take it off. We'll just go. We'll just go and find people and send them in, but it's just her waiting for them <laughs> with the scotch i'll do it oh yeah. that'd be Sold. awesome <laughs> <laughs> fantastic oh, awesome okay. cool um yeah this is it we just wanted to touch base no, say hello super cool. touch base say you know next next month yeah say <laughs> thanks <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what did you do last we're month? gonna oh, follow your you. career very closely this is scary now. <laughs> yeah oh my okay. god awesome thanks so much Alan. yeah of course have a great weekend you too <laughs>
Thanks, Mike Pryor, for my shirt. Hey! <laughs> sound Hi. check! Hey. Hi, Shan! If you're, if you're wondering what was happening there before we had sound, Sean was jujitsuing his fucking uh, headphones. Yeah. And I'm just giving a shout out to Mike Pryor for my shirt because it's How sweet. did he find a shirt with a picture of you on it? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but it's like, I was like, oh, fucking, oh, great. Another shirt that Julia will steal. And then she's like, no, actually, she's like, that has you on it. So I won't wear it. And I was like, the grimace is perfect. Like, God damn it. That's how you get the both, both sides of your mouth open up like that. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, my Fuck God. You. How you doing, Shan? Great. Shan. Yeah. Found head tattoo. Trust me. Yep. Yeah. Kicking it. He also is. How's the convention going? Good. Oh, yeah. thank you for the, yeah, the scotch is. How big, what, how big do you want? Uh, not much. Okay. Yes. Kind of early. Yeah. We're just doing little tasters. Sick. Uh, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I love a good Irish sure. whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, is that one triple distilled, like all Irish whiskeys, or is that an aged, uh, like single cask kind of thing? Oh, it's triple distilled and matured. Is it? Oh, okay, yeah. 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 perfect. Because I think that is Irish whiskey. Yeah. Oh, fuck if I know. Ooh. I'm Irish. Number two. No idea. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, buddy. How's the show going for you? Good. Yeah, yesterday was uh, pretty chill. Because I. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> You've definitely had bigger things in your face. Uh, that's, uh, can't confirm or deny. <laughs> but I don't do jujitsu. So. Oh, the uh, old cock lock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Show's going good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the show was sweet. Um, I didn't really tattoo yesterday because I was tattooing at the shop. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Just like hung out. It's great to see people. Yeah. Hang out. Nice. Chat. Your whole crew here? Uh, Kevin's in the mountains sledding. All right. Yeah. Oh, still, eh? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, he's been going hard all year. Fuck. Yeah. It's been a tough year up there, too. There's been a lot of slides and, yeah, man, and a lot of buried people. Yeah, yeah. The most, like, I think in since 2003, they were saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck. Which is a great time to have your knee busted and not be able to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if any year that I, like, shouldn't be out there, it's this year. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. It's probably, it must be almost jump season for you skydiving. Yep. And shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, May, June, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. Nice. And no more base jumping. That's what you're telling me. No more. No. Good. Is that You're smiling when you say that, so I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I, got video, I got some footage that I can like give you to show you how much I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <I> <laughs> Is it like first person, point of view? Uh, so, you want the whole story? So, I did a jump on an antenna. Um, I, like, pulled my, pi my pilot chute to release. Yeah. Um, but I tucked it too far in, and it, like, locked. Ooh. So, I jumped, I threw, and, like, instantly you know that, like, that shit's not coming out. So, I, like, hit my bag a bunch of times, and that turned me on my back. And meanwhile, like, randomly this guy was, like, like, our friend was taking pictures, which doesn't usually happen, but this time he did. And he's got a picture of me upside down like turtle and my pilot shoot is being towed in which means like it's not inflated it's being pulled because yeah, the pressure yeah. is like holding it so that's like fucking death right there and i was like that and then before i knew it it was just like boom oh open and then i was like holy fuck i'm fucking alive I'm oh sick. my god <laughs> that's crazy i almost slipped in a shower once <laughs> 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 you got pushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how high fuck. was the antenna? Or how, not how high, how low how was the antenna? How low, yeah. Uh, I think we, we usually climb to like three, 400 feet. Yeah. Dude, that's oh my God. not high enough. Well, I jumped from the high little bridge. That was like 160. Fuck. I never used to be scared of heights. Yeah. And now I'm terrified of exposure. Like I can, I can climb up a mountain. I can, you know... I can, if, the, if there's a slope, it doesn't fucking mean yeah, anything. Yeah. But as soon as there's an exposure, I fucking can't get near the edge anymore. If someone else is near the edge, my heart's like, ah, ah. <laughs> I might push them or they might trip. Or, you know, like, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Man, I was trying to get my banner down this morning. Like, you've been in my shop. The yeah. mezzanine is like, I don't know, like 30 feet up. Yeah, it's pretty high up. Yeah, and I was like on the edge trying to get the banner off. And I'm like, this isn't fucking safe. I got yeah. down. <laughs> 
I was like, I'm not this young anymore. No, fuck, man. Yeah. Dude, uh, I actually, I want to skydive this year. Yeah. Where, where should I go? Come down to... Where uh, the hell? Yeah, it's called Sexy. It's uh, by Innisfail. <laughs> wow, it could have get any more douchey. Yeah. <laughs> what does it stand for? It's like S- Skydive Extreme Calgary something. S-E-C-X or something. Oh, okay. But oh, it's my. like a smaller, like more like homey like vibes. Whereas, like, Innisfail is, like, really big production. Like, lots of tandems and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, are you awesome. going to go tandem for your first one, or are you going to go solo? Can you even you do You can't it? go solo for your yeah. first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Julia mentioned it. Like, I've wanted to try it forever. And then Julia, like, I think it was, like, a week ago, said something about skydiving. I was like, I've always wanted to skydive. She was like, really? I'm like, yeah. She's like, let's go. And I'm like, my friend Shan jumps Fuck. all the time. I fucking love watching like first time people. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably people. pass out. Maybe I'll shit myself. It'd be great. <laughs> oh man, you see people like spider monkey the plane like trying to like <laughs> <laughs> and then the instructors are just like fuck you, fuck you. Fuck yeah. Like, fuck. I I always wanted to go but they they said they had really strict rules. You can't yeah, when, when you go ah, funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> When you go tandem, you have to you have to both face the same way. Yeah. I wanted to face the instructor. <laughs> <laughs> I can fucking hold on for dear life. <laughs> oh my god! I want yeah. I want to face him so yeah. I can pull the cord. I just look <laughs> look him dead in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! So yeah, it's fun though. You should come. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, did you do Saskatoon last week? No, I didn't. No. no. I, what other convention are you doing this year? Uh, van. Okay. Yeah. Tried to, uh, like there was Saskatoon, Kelowna. By the time I was like, yeah, I want to do them. They were like posted like, oh, we're sold out. I oh, like, fuck. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You got to get on that shit like the year before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. now I've noticed that people are like booking them up like even more. Well, because like, there's like, fucking twice as many tattooers. Yeah, yeah. And also, remember how small Saskatoon was? Yeah. And then us idiots kept telling everybody how amazing it was. Totally. And now we get surprised that it sells out and it's larger. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we man. should have been saying, like, all of our favorite conventions, we should have been like, nah, it wasn't that fun. That's, <laughs> weather was horrible. Nah, it wasn't very busy. Yeah. But no, instead, we got to be all like, yeah, it was the fucking best. I made the most money I've ever made in my life. <laughs> like, and then the next year, it's like, why are all you fucking people here? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but I told every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've done that convention for like a good like six years or something. I've I, never done it. I've never done it. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, he's never done it and he lives beside it. Oh, Vancouver? <laughs> no, Kelowna. Oh, Kelowna. No, I've done. He's talking about Saskatoon. Oh, you're talking about Saskatoon. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm all over the fucking place. Yeah. I did have a sip of scotch. I think I did Kelowna. No, I did Kelowna. <laughs> did I you? think I did an art show at. Oh, okay. I think I did the Dust and Bones pirate art show there. I don't oh, know if I ever okay. fucking worked Kelowna or not. No, I did. I fucking tattooed people there. I remember now. That was Vancouver, wasn't it? The. No, that was Kelowna. That was the Dragon Show, the Dave Shore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went on a run there with art shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, doing Vancouver. Are you riding the bikes out, or is uh, it not not going to be warm enough yet? Yeah, fuck man. One year I like uh, drove down with Dan, and I think I just like kind of like started riding or just got the bike or something, and I was like just so like horny to ride, and it was like blue skies going down. Super regretted not riding and coming back. It had snowed like two feet in the cold. Oh fuck! Yeah, typical. Yeah, and I was like, I am so thankful I didn't. Fuck. Do that. Well, if you want to stop in on your way down, just stop in Kelowna. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, got my in-laws are in Vernon, so I should. Oh fuck! Take yeah, yeah. So much more. Yeah, I'm doing Vancouver too, so. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, I'll be driving down. So if you wanna, if you need someone to follow you to make sure you don't fucking die, or <laughs> it snows, we can put the bike in the van. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be sick. Are you gonna drive or are you gonna fly out? Drive. You'll drive out. Yeah, yeah just drive yeah. the Tesla. Yeah, he drives us up. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to him and Job talk it? about fucking Teslas yesterday. I was just like. <laughs> Does Job has his wrapped all sweet? Like? No, he's just, they were talking about it like He looks cars. like he's driving out of the Matrix. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my client wraps cars, and she, uh, I hope she doesn't see this, but she, like, put a dragon on it at first, and I was like, sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, a dr- I love. A dragon or a Dagron? Was it like a like a Google Chinese dragon or, sickness? No, her husband drew it, and he's like, "I've been drawing these since I was in high school." And I'm like, mm, they, "Cool." Like, it, it was just like a one tone, like yeah, whatever, yeah, right? yeah. But I was like, I'm not like Asian gangster enough to like 
to rep this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got him to switch to the Fountainhead logo. Oh, there's Fountainhead logo on it? Yeah. I didn't even like, know. I like the sides, like how you have like the, the, scales, the, the scales and stuff. That's cool. Oh, yeah. you, have to, you have to send me a picture so we can put it up on the podcast. Yeah. Because everyone's going to, you're talking about a fucking car and everyone's going to yeah. be like, what the fuck? Well, yeah. They did the, the dragon like in this like, um, uh, like, uh, like fog. Like, oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it looked really sweet. I like really like the idea. I just like would rather like the logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's like a green iridescent, uh, a Porsche green actually is what I'm Nice. Fancy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Where's Alex today? Alex is his wife. My wife. She's cooler than him. That's yeah. why I'm asking. Man, she's making like way more money than I am this weekend. She's teaching a massage course. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sweet. So right. she like runs a, like her massage clinic and yeah. she has an education degree. So she uh, designed a course to teach like massage therapists. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So she's like fucking making bank. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, it'd be, it would have been funny to actually have her on. And when I saw her last night, I was like, she's like, can I come on the podcast? Yeah, of course. Like, how much has she been drinking? <laughs> she's like cookie drunk, though. She was like, yeah, she was sugar drunk. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was after you got, she was eating a sugar, dude. I was like, seriously, I thought she was wasted. But she's just eating this cookie, just like high on sugar. Yeah, she's yeah, like, I'll, she's like, I'll do the podcast. She's like, I'll talk about being a tattooer's wife. I'm like, that'd totally. be perfect. She's like, I don't even have any fucking tattoos. I'm like, that's even better. We should get like four. Four tattoo widows on. Here. <laughs> <laughs> she found a uh, tat wives like Instagram. And yeah, she like fucking fell in love with it because she's just like, this is you. I think <laughs> I think that was Gagne's wife that was one of the curators for that. Oh, great! I think so. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that was a funny page when right. I when I first saw that. She couldn't get enough of it. She's like, oh, I'm just, I'm done work. She's like, yeah, I'll see you in an hour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I've been hearing that. For 30 years, yeah. like, or even not even like on a day, it'd be like, I'm just gonna run to the shop for something, and the shop's not even open, and then it's like four hours goes by, dude. That's yeah, <laughs> during COVID, it's just like, I'm going out, I'm at the shop watching Netflix, doing whatever, <laughs> just hanging out in my environment, you know, yeah, yeah. nobody else is there. It's like, yeah. oh, this I is awesome. My uh, auto body shop, and I was painting the bike. Nice, I like wasn't allowed to work, but I wasn't getting paid, so it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> oh crazy fantastic cool man cool that was easy that yeah. was fun Sweet. that's it yeah thanks guys yeah all right thanks for the scotch yeah yeah like it. send me a picture of that fucking tesla too yeah, yeah i'll yeah. send you that group cool have a good weekend you too guys Yay! Okay. Yeah, we started the podcast. We started the podcast today having uh, two female tattooers, so we figured it's time to bring a man on. Mm. We had. Uh, well, then you picked the have? wrong. We person. had we had Ali Tex come yeah. on, and then Shan from Fountainhead. Mm. <laughs> so two wonderful female tattooers. Yeah, yes. yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Rob Job, how are you doing, buddy? I am fantastic. How are Excellent. you? Very well. Very good, well. good. Good to see you. It's Great been. To I haven't you. seen you in person since <clears throat> the Deadly Show, October. Was it a no, call? June. No, June, June. Yeah, June. that's right. Yeah. So this is, is this kind of the start of your convention season or? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is the kind of start of the season for us. Usually it's April is the busy one where we have three in April, but a bunch of the shows kind of rearranged their dates this year. So um, it's nice that uh, Vancouver's in May now. So that's kind of nice. Breaks up because it used to be Edmonton. Saskatoon, Vancouver, all in one separate month. weekends. But and three in a row. Three in a row. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. And actually, we loved going to Regina and got a great relationship with those guys. But ultimately, it's like, I can't do the drive twice to Sask no. you know, to Oof. like Saskatchewan and, uh, four times in a month. It's just yeah. like, yeah. No. Yeah. No, no way. kidding. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Crazy. So were you in Saskatoon last week? No, no, I actually, Lucas and I, uh, we ended up going to Gods of Ink in Frankfurt. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, sweet. yeah. How so, was that? It was super fun. Uh, um, yes, yeah. that was your pictures that I was seeing, uh, and Lucas's pictures I was seeing also. Yeah, and I was getting filmed. Yeah, it was. Um, it it was one of those ones, kind of like James's show a little bit, where he had a nice art display. Uh, as soon as you got in the venue, you walk upstairs, and the first thing is they have a major Mike Dorsey display. Oh, cool! With all of his mega scale, um, big paintings that yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. And so it was really great to like see them in person and. Um, both, uh, uh, James, James actually traded for a painting I one saw. Place, and then, um, uh, um, uh, Hanford picked up, a another, a, a smaller painting yeah. off of Mike when he was there. And I, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, and it was I'm really, it, the, the, the thing that was super fun was just seeing like, some European friends that I hadn't seen in a long time, uh, just since COVID and, and that, uh, it was really wonderful to see them. It's great to see, uh. Henning and Johan uh, Sven were sharing a booth, so it was really great to see them again. We went and saw them um, this year in New York when they were doing a guest spot at uh, King's Ave. So nice. it was kind of nice to see them again and hang out with them a little bit. And then just getting to see a lot of European friends and quite a few American friends too that I hadn't seen in a long time because of COVID and nice. everything else. Yeah. So I think that was one of the cool things. And then just all the really great talent in the room. Yeah, Obviously, you know, you're seeing yeah. like full uh -huh. she gay yeah. bodysuits yeah. and like, well, yeah, it's just the like, show's not called Gods of Ink for, you know, <laughs> yeah, uh, Frankfurt, ironically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Frankfurt's a bit of like the town didn't appeal to me so much. Oh, really? I'd only been through the airports in Frankfurt a couple of times, never really spent any time there. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a banking financial center. So, uh, and it's, it's German banking. So, yeah. It's really. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't really, I just didn't, I, you know, like London and Paris, those are international destinations. So when you like get tons of artists in there, the appeal is the city on top of it. I think it'll grow really good. I think they'll grow it there really nice. And the hotel that was attached to the convention center, if anybody's going, go, yeah, like it's called the Maritime. They had everybody at the Radisson. Okay. But the Maritime is in right at the convention center and it was cheap. And it was like European breakfast in the morning, nice. wonderful little coffee, little fruit, and yeah. then head to the show. And so it was that, that was awesome. Cool. Yeah, nice. cool. So how many shows are you guys doing this year? Like you guys are on the road pretty like much. Usually, usually about one a month, right? That's like, not too bad. No, it's not bad. And, and so like the ones left, I think it's uh, Vancouver, Okanagan, Calgary, uh, Toronto, uh, and then we're going to do Montreal. And um, next year I want to kind of – I have not seen Brad Dawn here, so oh. I'm really hoping to go to Moncton next year. I'm really hoping to do um, Dave's show oh, to yeah. go to Newfoundland. Uh, it, we just have to pick and choose, unfortunately. I'd love to do Lethbridge again because yeah. I, I, you know, Will Woods and Ash have really like that that group of people that they've kind of curated amongst um, those shows that they do. I think they do Red Deer and I think they do Victoria I should, show. I should do the Lethbridge <clears throat> show. I've never done the Lethbridge show. It's cool because it. it's like a, it's like a, you know, a, it's a real family kind of feeling like every, all the artists that have been doing it have been doing it for years. Nice. Yeah. It's the same thing Monroe has. Like it's, a smaller convention so it's really cool like you get like a big group of people that'll just do it every year and, the, and like count on it i'll be there so like i love that yeah, yeah. And, it, and it kind of mixes it up so that you feel like you're getting because i love all these tattooers that you know like all these people that i have relationships with over the years it's wonderful to get different groups of them clicks of them they're hanging out at the For different sure. shows so i'm really missing doing the smaller shows and I'm really yeah. aching to go back to Newfoundland. I'm really aching uh -huh. to go to Halifax. Really, hate, you know, ache. I, and even some of the ones I haven't done. Yeah, Ottawa, yeah. you know, like those shows. Like, I'd love to. It's yeah. just we have to pick and choose. Yeah, oh, just, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just know that Dave Monroe is going to put on a good show. You know Brad Dawes is going to put on a good show. Yeah, like, they're yeah, such, yeah. like, good people. You know, and Brad? I just haven't seen them in so long, too. Like, uh, no, no. No, okay, but you know Dave Monroe. I know that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know guys. Dave Monroe, and I know who yeah. Brad does. You yeah, know, I, yeah, yeah. Before I was always getting kicked off social media and stuff. I did have relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I had relationships with people online through social media, and then I get kicked off. And then I, when I finally rejoin, I forget who I followed, and yeah, I don't follow people. And like, I just started Facebook again last week. I know I was reintroduced to you through Facebook last week. <laughs> yeah, same quite here. Wonderful. I was like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, who? <laughs> How many uh, posts is he made? <laughs> this is either, um, you know, it's like a, a middle-aged fucking... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, I'm panicking. I got to get back on Facebook. Yeah. I was impressed it was his real name because he hasn't had one under a real name in forever. It's uh, <laughs> so probably the funny. only one you got left that they'll allow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Uh, cool. Awesome. Are you going to be tattooing at any of these conventions? Or you know just what? Good guy? Okay. Like, it, and it's, it's, <laughs> got, it's gotten really weird. Um, for those that don't know, like good guy runs on a skeleton crew of people. Right. And it's like, it's, you know, my wife runs operations in the background and, um, uh, she had back surgery a year ago, like, like historically right to now. And so she hasn't traveled at all. And so she's just been running the show behind the scenes. And then Lucas and I, we gave it, we, we actually just went through this process of actually giving ourselves job descriptions so we can stay focused. Nice. And so, ultimately what happened was we had this talk and we actually just, we got actually really realistic with our lives. And we were just like, what is the actual deal? Like, what can we actually do in the company? And, um, Lucas, uh, you know, he's got two children. Uh, he's got three, but one's gone. Yeah, yeah. And so he's got two kids that have their, you know, Hudson, everybody's known that, you know, Hudson had heart issues and stuff. And so, um, him and Jamie have lived a life of a lot of stress. And then you add like traveling, international travel, travel for business, add all that to the mix. It becomes chaos at the home, you know? And so yeah. Lucas is taking a high priority with his family. Him and I Good. have already traveled a ton this year, but he has to stay in his lane. He has to be do research and development stuff, um, development new products. And he stays He's going to try to stay home a little bit more so that, you know, these are really Absolutely. big years for his kids. They're becoming teenagers and, and it's tough around their house. So it's like him and Jamie have to work together, you know, so totally. like that's yeah. bit, that's an honest way of looking at it. And then my job is to actually go out and like drive business a little bit. So I'll be doing the conventions yeah. the same as, and, but you know, I have to do the business travel too, and which is super yeah. fun, but it's also exhausting. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's th- weird to me that you wouldn't have picked the super awkward guy to be the forefront. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? And, and it's counterintuitive to everything that's tattooing. Really. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, and like we, we, he got on the phone, he was dealing with Air Canada cause we were trying to get an upgrade and we've got some upgrade points, E points they're called through Air Canada. So we're trying to upgrade three hours on the hold with oh, Air Canada. Fuck, yeah. And you know what? I bless him. He's got more patience and he's so soft spoken. Right. Yeah. And he's just being a sweetheart and me, I'm like the devil part of the shoulder. <laughs> I'm just like, what? And they, he actually got hung up on after three hours of being on hold. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, my God. So it's like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good working relationship. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been with you at a restaurant after a convention when your food came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually a sweetheart. I am. But, yeah, it's like, you know. you well, yeah, 12 you, hours of not. Of not yeah, 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 yeah. You pick, you pick and choose your teasing, moments to be so. a jerk, you know, and yeah. like. And I really try not to be, but sometimes you just can't yeah. let people stand on you. Either, no, of course. You know? I, I really admire what you guys are doing, a good guy. I think you've, uh, your future is being laid out really well. And uh, I, I like the team up between you and Lucas. I think you guys, your roles are well-defined. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's taken us all these years since, like, um, since Nat and I bought into Good Guy uh, in 20, I think, 14. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right yeah, around. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. Almost uh, 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like, you know, um, it's kind of funny. It's like uh, we didn't start with a big warehouse. We didn't start with anything. We moved it from his parents' garage mm-hmm. into the tattoo shop. Yeah. And we yeah. had a set of ramps in our stairwell to bring goods in and out. And we trucked them by hand over to Canada Post. And we've changed two warehouses since, and we've increased the size of the warehouse twice. And I'm internally grateful to all my friends, peers, family, anybody that's kind of helped us out or ever bought everything from us. Yeah. I couldn't be, couldn't be more stoked, Go you know, on. and, and even though the landscape is changing in the United States, Europe, and here, it's such a good like vibe. Like all these new people, it excites us. Like we all joke about it. It's just like, who are these people? <laughs> yeah. But it's like you know, it's really interesting and Absolutely. to talk to talk to new people. And some of them don't get it yet. They will. Oh, but, yeah. You know, some of them are very new and they don't understand yet. Absolutely. But for the most part, what a great kind of scene that's going on. And thank God it's still kind of like that up here. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's not like it everywhere else. No, you know? absolutely not. Yeah. 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 I think the key to like 
new people coming in is we as older tattooers that tend to be like what the fuck's going on we need to realize that not everyone had good mentorship like we did you know that's a thing of the past in a way and very few people are getting good mentorship and it's kind of figure out how to when they express curiosity or want to build a relationship with one of us that we need to nurture that and you know, help them along. Right? Yeah. And having these conversations, tough conversations with different types of people from all over the world. Like I had a nice dinner. Um, I'm not even going to mention where, cause it might tip the hat as to who I was talking to. But the, uh, I was like, I, we were just talking about supplies and he asked me a couple of questions and I was kind of honest. And I just said, we do a really bad job of, um, me and Lucas do a very bad job of, uh, of educating. Uh, we don't do enough to educate people on our own products. And yeah. if they come to shows and you, pu- you know, you pull me aside and you ask me about how to use something, I will tell somebody and they're like, oh my God, they, you just help me out so much. And it's like, there's a disconnect. We're not doing a good enough job to do that. But then this tattooer says to me, you don't need to fucking do that. You let the person figure it out on their own. And it's like, I get that attitude. I mean, you know, there's a lot of self-taught people out there with Absolutely. a lot, and they've all have their own story about how they've had to develop as an artist and as a person. Yeah. But, uh, I want, we're, we're producing stuff that we hope make your job easier. And if we gatekeep the, the, the ideas behind the products and we're not doing a good job, no. I'm, I'm not giving anybody a free lunch. I'm just trying to give my hard work and Lucas's hard work and Natalie's hard work that we put into making these products is lost if we don't educate people on how to use them. Oh, absolutely. And it's not like there's any lack of challenges in tattooing. No. Like, you know, you educate them on how to use your products. You're not really giving them that much of a leg up. There's no, no, because they already have it. Yeah. And you know why they have it? Because they have a business license and they're accredited to whatever they need to do for their province. That's the only way we sell to them in the first place. So, and we don't come to these shows like here in Edmonton and hook up every single person. If somebody comes up and says, what's the best black? That's the first flag. (laughs) It's like, you know, and then uh, the second question is, what studio do you work at? Well, I don't. I'm tattooing my friends. And it's like, well, unfortunately, this isn't the environment where I'm selling you a bottle ink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? You guys got any new products coming out that you're excited about? Oh, I'm super stoked on our bandage. Uh, and we've we've only had it out for about six or seven months. Okay. Um, we've already sold through two gigantic orders, which is like amazing to us. And so, yeah, the bandages, uh, the Easy Heal that we've put out, it doesn't have our branding all over it. It's a little bit different, um, but um, it's an imported film from Japan, and then it's um, constructed in China, and it's uh, uh, we used it in our shop for about ten months and had almost zero issues and we've we've sold saniderm for years and we had very few issues with saniderm as well i know there's a lot of products out there i know that issues with adhesives are the problem Mm -hmm. um also using numbing creams or numbing sprays and then not cleaning the skin well enough and then trapping those kind of those kind of ingredients underneath uh films can be an issue for sure but as a person i'm a type 2 diabetic so when i get tattooed which isn't very often because i scab up and stay scabby for like a month and so i'm very and my tattoos um do have various states of like poor healing um uh, i've found it's the only way i can possibly get tattooed is to have adhesive films on afterward because they give me the best chance of healing yeah and the stuff that we're using it's matte, so it doesn't snag on clothing. Mm. It's mega thin. I mean, it's super, super thin. It's super flexible. It breathes really well. Uh, it adheres to the skin really good. It's super easy to take off. So that's why we called it Easy Heal, because it's easy. But And it, the backing, when you strip it off, it's a tattooer mindset. With the other films, you're getting stickiness on your hands. They're sticking to your gloves while you're trying to put it on. So Easy Heal, we made three pieces. So you can hold on to a backing with two two hands and put the center part down, peel it off and put it on the skin. And then you can peel the side pieces away. So you actually have something to hold on to. So the stuff splits into three. A lot of people don't know that. Why? Because we do a very shitty job of telling people what, how do we make our products? But yeah, that's, that's, you know, and so like. You and Duke has got to do some fucking TikTok dances with like the well, pointing of the fucking. And, and you see, like, I don't like being on film. 
I don't like being like, I don't like doing that stuff. I don't yeah. know what's wrong with me, but I just like all my friends see me all the time and they're like, fuck. You got to get like a token old tattooer <laughs> and have some young person explaining the product to the stupid old tattooer. What, what do you mean it sticks to the skin? How do they oh feel it Oh my God. <laughs> that would be fucking yeah, genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and you know, and Lucas is so soft and so quiet too. So it's like the two of us are sometimes not the greatest, you know? And yeah. so, uh, but we're trying and, uh, but yeah. yeah, we could do a better job and we plan to. You should, but, of course. You should send us products and we'll try to figure them out on, yeah. on a podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What the fuck does this work? What yeah, it? yeah. It smells like oranges. How does it taste? You taste it. Uh, and then pens. You yeah. know, like our pen, a good wireless pen. We, we yeah. sold a ton of them. I've we're heard really nothing happy. but good stuff. Yeah, we're them, really happy. Yeah. Um, we do have a, a – and I'm, I'm going to talk about it so you guys know how vulnerable I am to, like, be honest and stuff. But um, we really tried to – $1,500 – um, pieces of equipment make sense to somebody like me. Why? I used to be a chef before this. I'm not going to skint on getting a cheap knife. I'm going to yeah. buy something that works great. Even if it's a food service knife that I can have for 20 years, at least if it's poor quality, at least I can upkeep it, keep yeah, it good, yeah. and I'll have it forever. If you come to my house, I've got some really old knives in my drawer. So that's the, our mentality. Lucas builds tattoo machines. He just wants to have quality, awesome shit. As best as we can make it, to give you value. And that's what good guy is kind of going on is this value proposition. You know, Luke, Luke and I joke, it's kind of Kirkland, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like finding something that works really good, not pricing it way out of range, trying to keep the prices kind of low so you can buy good quality stuff all the time. And, and yeah. you can fill your drawer with it. And I'll be super stoked if I see it at your shop, you know, obviously with the pen, we wanted to get that 700, 750 price point. That was super important to me. If you do, if you cut corners and you do the $500 thing or, you know, six, you know, some people just think it's crap just because it, you know, their mind goes to like, if it's cheap, it's crap, you yeah. know? So we want to make sure that we could put enough tech in it to make it really great. And to be honest, we really spent the money on the injection molding for the grips because it was really important to Lucas and I to make something that's pretty clean because yeah. we'd done the good pen before. And separating the drive system from the motor was super important to us because we were watching wipe culture happen. And as old school kind of people that have 20 plus years under their belt to see people just wiping stuff with Cavicide, I was honestly getting ready to dodge something because mentor off camera is going to throw something at me. <laughs> but that's the thing, like watching that cold sterilization happen and people not really sterile using anything like BM209, they're using just Cavicide. Yeah. That bothered us, and so we did the good pen to try to get away from that. Yep. This is safer tattooing, right? What we found out through that process is nobody gives a shit, <laughs> which is just to be really honest. But, I mean, a lot of people love the good pen and use it, and we, yeah. we still sell it. We just went through a supply chain issue with grips. So we offered anybody that had good pen that couldn't get the grips, we offered them a wireless pen for use while they're waiting. So, again, this is my company. Like I'm give you know, and this is yeah, Luke's yeah. company. Like that's how we're backing you up. Yeah. I don't have the pens that I sold you right now, the grips. I'm going to give you our newest one to try out. All you got to do is buy the grips and I'll give you the pen. And when we get these back in, you can just send it back to us or you can buy it at a discount. But regardless, I'm going to be there, you yeah. know, because like I got to look you in the eye. Yeah, yeah, totally. So that is, that's really important. So getting the price point right was really important. And now we're just having kind of a battery thing where the indicators aren't the best quality. So like showing how much battery indication you have left. So that's kind of bumming for Luke and I. It's very frustrating because we have people like, my battery's not charging. It is. It works. We tested it in the shop for 18 months. We tattooed with it every day. Everybody in my shop uses the pen. So we have like a test group. But having a little issue like that is bumming for us. Of course. But oh, guess yeah. what? It allows you to buy it for 750 so, because we have to buy, so here's crazy, you know, a little display on top, real simple looking, real basic. For us to upgrade the display and get a better quality battery and indicator and all that, we have to buy 10,000 oh boards, displays. So they're not that expensive. And like, let me say that, not, yeah, yeah. not crazy expensive. But it's the but quality, or the quantity. Yeah, it's right. the quantity. So if we bought that and just not use 15,500, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever. <laughs> It just increased the pen price by 200 bucks. Yeah. And so now we're closer to that $1,000 thing. Yeah. And hey, guess what? FK do a great job. Cheyenne do a great job. Those guys do excellent jobs. There's so much tech packed into those pens. Do I think the people need that much tech? 
Mm. Do you adjust hits on machines? <laughs> do you do, you know, right? Yeah, so, no, 100%. I don't think it's needed. And so that's just our mindset. Yeah. But I can tell you this. Going forward, you will see very few hardware products from Good Guy because we realize, like, we're just so far behind. We would love to we'd love to compete, and we would love to show our great ideas and our ingenuity. But those guys do a really good job, and yeah. they put a ton of R and D yeah. money into the products they make. And we're always just going to make something basic because we don't need a bunch of bells and whistles. You yeah, know? it's important to differentiate yourself, but also understand what your market is and yeah. like how you can feel it best. I think yeah. that's smart business. And good guys market is our clients. And yeah. so that's the thing. If you phone, you're going to get, if you phone and want to talk to a person, you will talk to a person. If you phone and want to know about the products and you can talk to, to Lucas and I, who both tattoo and you will talk, you will find out the tattooers perspective on things. If you have an issue, we will stand behind it. And our staff are fantastic at getting stuff out the same day. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so that's what we focus on is great customer experience and then go from there. Everything else is just comes great from that. Totally. You know? Yeah. Cool. Did you drink scotch? No, don't okay. drink. All right. All Perfect. Right. Fuck it. Done. Save it. Yeah. Interview over. Interview over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob Job. No problem. It's really great to see you. Yeah, buddy. I love yeah. both you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful to yeah. see you. And the guys at the booth were asking, like, who are those geezers? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, there's two guys I've known for a long time. But I, I got to tell you, it's like, it's what an incredible fucking scenario that we are in that we get to build these relationships might have some bumps in the road but we get to build these kind of relationships with the same kind of people for the with all the same objective in mind with all like a common goal and yeah. a commonality yeah. and we get to like enjoy each other's company for so many years yeah, right? awesome. like totally. it's it's the coolest thing totally yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. 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 cool awesome thanks yeah. buddy yeah Hey guys, I'm Dave Allen. I brought you the Hold Fast, Stay Gold docuseries. I've been a tattoo artist and shop owner for over 20 years. This industry has changed a lot. I think I have a new service that's gonna benefit us all. It's called the Hold Fast Social Club. So the Hold Fast Social Club for a studio owner is a matchmaking service. You've got an empty chair in your studio and you wanna fill it because you're losing revenue every month. And your only way to attract people now is through Instagram. And Instagram hasn't worked for most of us in quite a few years. And it's really hard to vet people unless you know who they've worked for. Hold Fast Social Club is a service that will vet and match people to your needs. So if you're like me and you have an empty chair in your studio, or maybe you just want to host more guest artists, sign up at Hold Fast Social Club. Fill in a profile, it's free. Let us help you find better people better fit and make better choices. It's here to stay here in the region. Yay! Yay! Hey! Anthony Tex. How's it going, buddy? Tony Tex. Hey! I still think you should go by Tony Tex. I think, Tony that, I think that should could be your hip hop uh, alias. <laughs> TT. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Tiger. Tony Tiger. Tony's too short for how tall I am. Tony's too short. Anthony. That's a long name. <laughs> that sounds like a dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he comes yeah. from. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good day. Yeah, have fun, man. Yeah. Uh, so
tell everybody who you are or what shop you work at. Oh, well, I'm Anthony Tex. I'm Anthony Tex. Been tattooing for almost 12 years. At Desi Tattoos, and started when I was 17. My first job. Oh my god. I know I'm 30. That's still so like teeny young, like it's old, but obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, you guys are crazy. But you're old. Dude, you're really hard. Get him. 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 Get those yeah. trying to tattoo. So, so like, yeah. I mean, yeah. back in the day, it was James, Dave Reed, Reed Kevin John Johnson, you know, and Cameron shop, shop, which, which was, was like, took like a rad time. time. So, oh, like, like, give me a tattoo and then, like, learning how to tattoo. tattoo. So, so, you know, I was, I was just, just like, like, all my friends were still going to school and didn't have money. And of course, I didn't really have money either. But hanging out with those guys and sitting down and then you have like 10 years to sit down and stand up and look, you go home. There's no parties, there's no clouds, right? Yeah. Busy weekend? Busy, yeah. 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 So, so unfortunately, I got a cancellation yesterday, but I uh, ended up drawing on a nice big king on the girls and set up last up. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I uh, got today, actually, just saw the sample. Yeah, that was sick. I drew that on this morning and was a little nervous. Next time you can mention. Nobody wants to fuck and was next, next to some beautiful, beautiful tattoo work. Like, yeah. 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 Dennis Fazos. Yeah. Uh, from Zill. From Zill. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, from Zill. 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 Yeah, 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 so I think that whole kind of drawing freestyle and all that stuff was... Lots of people draw up. That was a fucking deadly lantern. Like, man, it's just straight. The perspective of straightness on how it's kind of hard is actually quite... But my mind yeah, yeah, totally. Like, 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 great confidence to do that, do that first of all. And then and actually do it well, of course. Yeah. 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 And then, and then to draw, draw next, next to it. Next to it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it was, but good. It was good. That was a fun time. Actually, next tattoo is a uh, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fun one. Uh, uh, they're like the, uh, these wolves, two wolves. Uh, uh, I guess I'll say the center known in North Carolina. One being red red wolf, a blue wolf, kind of like going out a little bit. It's nice. Yeah. It's a good buddy of mine from Calgary, but he's up here right now. Cool. Yeah. 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 Y
one of the funniest, one of the funniest or one of the most, uh, most uh, uh, like, kind of like yeah, either a either funniest, funniest moment, moment, moment or like or a like key key moment, moment where something kind of something kind of clicked, clicked and, and shifted and shift you for you where like, you're like oh I'm a tattoo oh, right now. Right now. Uh, uh, no, I think I, know, I think I obviously they obviously they threw learning a tattoo off since you had friends, good friends, yeah, yeah, just just. Shit and hopefully, and hopefully it, turns it, it turns out okay, and then, okay. And then you can kind of go but from there. But I think for I think me, when it came to the actual, to the actual like, like, like learning, learning, tattooing, where I actually came to a point, point of, point of like, 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 oh, there it is, there it is, was fuck to me, wow. Took me wow. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like two months or like, like, a year in. I think it came to a point where. Like, one like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate, 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 you can wait until anyone says someone had a father, mother, mother of whoever of such caliber that, you know, you're like, hey, fuck, fuck, I got to really calm really down here and actually yeah. figure out what the fuck is so, going. So a lot of people, so lot of people would fold under that pressure. pressure. So, what, so where did you, where did you find strength, strength, strength be like, no, be like, no, I, can no do I can do this, I can measure it. I think it was just, like, obviously, obviously, perseverance and actually, obviously, in my mind was like, what would you do, what would Steve Moore, Steve Moore, that's it, what I look up to, dude, but it was more like, that was, in my, mind, in my mind and I'm crazy and crazy and then anxiety I'm anxiety stress 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 to kind of like isolate that isolate that for one myself figure out what, what I, need what I need to do because of course because of course we have some people deal with stresses by more work more work yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 for me yeah. like so like, do that still do that but you gotta work to the point where you're collapsing then then reevaluate for that fun zone I love it I love it I wish I could do it but but that hands everything but yeah but um um uh, uh yeah i don't know yeah it's, i don't know it's, i don't know i don't know i don't know where the fuck it starts it's it's, it's crazy it's crazy tattoos are crazy yeah yeah it is yeah it's like i think even like when i started like, actually even actually in the episode of 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 the episode yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. It was like a fucking corn store. It was like that fucking or seven max or, or a max or something like that. We're doing something. Where are you going? Like, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta go to the shop. Yeah, I remember. I remember. And then there was a convention in Virginia. No, actually, that's the same fucking place. Where I had to drop everyone off at the airport. And then I drove out. And I drove out afterwards. And I missed all the. And I missed all the after party. And then saw them. Saw them. And then I caught the shit. I, I think that's I, I think that's the yeah. 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 yeah you have, have, you have, have no fucking say you got to do your shit yeah it's not just your dad no. No. bossing you around everybody at the shop everybody at the shop you make them happy and it's like yeah you're doing this for us because you're the lowest on the lowest on the phone pole yeah you know I think a lot of people think they would love to have their father as a mentor but I don't think they know what they're getting themselves into because your dad's not he doesn't take he doesn't take like he doesn't, like he doesn't he, he's not gonna let you fail, gonna let you and, that fail. Mean and that doesn't mean he's gonna be like, yeah, okay, yeah, like, yeah, 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 ye
that's the best part of time. That's the best part of time. Right. Like he draws like so much. Draws so much. When we had the MySpace pages, pages, and then we started the, we started the Breakfast Club. club. We're all trying to draw. We're all trying to draw. Dad's just busting out this full rendering. And then I think it was Dino changed the name of the Breakfast Club to Fuck James Tech. And then it became a Facebook group. And then it was like copying sketches or something. And then it got changed to Fuck James Tech. Because nobody, we just can't keep up with it. One of the ways James Tech is so good. That's why. Because he is the best part of time. Always, 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 and yeah, to be around that, like, you're doing the same, you're doing the same, you have, you have, you have, trying, but you know what I mean, it's hard to keep up with that, like, you have to find your own, like, every, 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 do that to whatever I think is cool. Or what I, yeah, or what yeah. I feel, but, feel happy with. But when I started my apprenticeship, when I started my apprenticeship, I, I didn't understand really understand my father. My father. Yeah, you know, he was high school, a coach in high school. A couple teachers, teachers that were like, like you James Texas, you James son? Texas son. I was like, yeah, they're like, like, yeah, they're like, I'll give you an A. I'll give you an A. I'm like, I'm fucking sixteen. Get out of here. I'm not. Like, I'm not. But I. But, but, uh, coming into but then coming into tattooing, and then like that first couple months of apprenticing and doing stuff like he's having people in the final states, Australia, states, Australia, and I'm just like, tattooed there, tattooed there, what are you doing? But I'm like, like, oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, fuck, I'm a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from there, like, of course, like, even growing up, I've had Steve Moore. I've had Steve Moore. Craig Driscoll. I've had Craig Driscoll. I've had Dave Cummings. They have my house. You know, they, it was just. Yeah, you know, like Doug yeah, Fink, you know, like Doug Fink, I first saw him, I first yeah. saw him on, television on television before I knew he was before a tattoo artist, because, because, because that whole job in, oh yeah, his mouth mic, oh yeah, his mouth mic, yeah, I was in love with him, I was in love with him, I was super in love with him, I was just like, when I saw him, like, then James comes out there, and James comes out there, and sees this episode, he's like, hey, it's Doug, he's like, he's in Calgary, I'm like, fuck, and then, yeah, he's like, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Oh, oh, weird connections. Super weird connections and just you actually uh, left Eddie. You actually left Eddie for a little bit. And went to Bushido. And went to Bushido. Yeah. How, yeah. how long did you make it a year there? Did you make it a year there? No, your dad pulled you out. No, your dad pulled you out. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think, I think like, I, for, for where that point for was, where that point was uh, uh, tattooing a lot was great. The technicality of tattooing a lot was more of a grass club. Apprenticing apprenticing at Deadly. Deadly. There's no small shit. No, yeah. You know, so it's like, yeah. You know, so it's like, and yeah, I did do, and, and yeah, I did do a couple, three, four, bigger series, pieces that, bigger pieces that, yeah, and, and then some, yeah, and then some finished five years later. later. I'm like, of course, that's how it should work, but um, but um, no, uh, I think no, uh, I feel like my drawing was kind of going down, was kind of going down, great, but then it's great, but then it's kind of working, it's kind of working, yeah, so and Doug is not, and Doug is not a hands on, I will also tell you, I will also tell you, he's on, 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 he's
I do that every time. <laughs> Hi. What's this? Uh, scotch. You oh. call this a shot. Oh, oh sorry. What the? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Not over this. Not over the electronics. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a professional. No, Spiller. you're not. Okay. That's good. That's plenty. That's, yeah. I'm going tiny. Cheers. Nice Cheers. to meet you. Nice to meet you. What was your name again? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You can just call me Bill. Bill? <laughs> That's not what it was. Dave. Dave. Yeah. I'm white. You could probably guess my age. It's probably Dave or Bob or Steve. Matthew, Mark, Chris. Exactly. Sean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're a, it's great to see you, buddy. Good to see you too, I have not seen you forever. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Who like, where do you I? work? Like, where do you work? I'm Yura, and I work at Incorporated. Where's that? Incorporated. We're in a new, brand new location. So we're on 119th Street, kind of across the old Super Flea Market. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's Edmonton. Brand new location. Yeah, Edmonton. We're not even fully, <laughs> fully set up yet. Edmonton. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We have we have about four listeners, but only uh -huh. two of them are in Edmonton. Okay. <laughs> Edmonton, Alberta. Awesome. Are you you're not working the show? I am not working the show. I just got one of these from the girls from Hollows to hang out. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yura got her start at Urge. Uh, <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> yes, urge. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, don't and, judge me, Dave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's got to last all day. <laughs> crush it. <laughs> just crush it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. How long have you been tattooing now, Yara? Damn. Just over 10 years, I guess. Just over, just over 10. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Always in Edmonton? Always in Edmonton. Mostly at Urge. But I joined Incorporated like just a year before the quarantine hit. Oh, fuck. Uh, so it feels like I'm a newbie. <laughs> oh, really? I, I feel like I'm doing the whole apprentice thing again. Oh, yeah. fuck. I do. I feel who's, that way. Who's there? Sort of. Who's there? Uh, uh, it's Nate Wong and Daniel Trin. That's Daniel. Okay, yeah. And yeah. these guys are doing like um, completely big scale pieces. Sleeves, yeah. back suits, body suits. I mean, like yeah. that's what they do. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like... like um, like Canmore style. Like oh. nobody knows nobody knows who they are. And then you'll see a post yeah. and it's like, who the fuck are these guys? Yeah. Just doing bodysuits. Yeah. Amazing. Like, yeah. Totally. Like Jeff uh, from uh, Jeff Tam. Like oh, same yeah, thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Be Monkey King guy. Be yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. before yeah. everybody like got to know Jeff and stuff, you just started seeing this huge fucking work. I and it's know. like, where does this come from? Yeah. Uh, my buddy Jeff. It's like, well, who the fuck is your buddy Jeff? It's the same thing. When I saw I started yeah. seeing their work, I still yeah. never seen any in person. <laughs> Oh, that's well, not oh. real. All over, Inst <laughs> like all on their Instagram. Is Actually, no, that's not true. I've seen Dragon Sleeve. Okay. I've seen, I saw Dragon Sleeve, and it's like the scaling is like, like uh, Hori Muja perfect. Oh, like just. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And they're just like fucking underground, low key. They don't have booths here or nothing. I'm like, I got to go hang out this weekend, guys. I got to see people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's I cool. Yeah. What amazing work. Yeah. yeah. How many people are there? 
that's it, just Nate Wong, Daniel Tritton, they somehow allowed me to hang out with them. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get, yeah. have to get some feminine energy in there. She so. is the <laughs> least feminine person you'll ever meet. <laughs> I am in a skirt I know, shot. what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, yeah. She, she's known for fighting mailboxes. 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 <laughs> newspaper one time, one time. <laughs> sorry i know i got a shit in a mailbox <laughs> in vernon <laughs> ryan oh my god yeah yeah the best was at a bar one night i grabbed she sold i grabbed her picked her upside down yeah, you did, and like started a school shakedown shakedown <laughs> and everything started falling out of her pockets and stuff you know tattooers some stuff falling out and the stuff Security like looked at it, looked at us, and he just like picked it up and handed it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, Are you doing any big fun projects? I'm actually suiting up a guy myself too. I don't think I would have that opportunity if I didn't work at Incorporated. But um, one one kid, I got like a whole bodysuit going on him. Sweet. He's got about one more leg left. Sick. So that's pretty dope. I'm going to cool. have to check out your Instagram. What's your Instagram? Yeah, yeah. You are tattoos. Okay. How do you spell yeah, yeah, that? Yeah. Y-U-R-A-T-A-T-T-O-S. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. You know, I still really enjoy like the variety, like some small pieces, some bangers, some big piece scale. I kind of need all of it. Yeah. Well, that was always a good thing about you, again, coming out of Urge, right? Like the more street shop kind of mentality and stuff and just kind of doing everything that came out, right? Just bang it all out. So cool, yeah, man. It's so good to see you. I haven't seen you yeah, in so I long. I haven't, I haven't seen you. And now that time, Rich man. is gone, there's no reason for you to come visit the <laughs> I shop. Know. Oh. I know. You you have a totally different crew. And I was like, oh, I don't visit you because Rich is not there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I bet he misses me. I don't know who these. I don't know who these other wieners are. <laughs> Actually, I did come by one random day, just before he left. So and I, I was so I met your guys. Yeah, and yeah. I and I lived in Vancouver. Oh. At the time oh. when Rich was. Leaving, I was already living in Vancouver. Okay, okay. Gotcha. yeah. Are you so, still living there half the time? Or like no, what? I'm back now full time. Yeah, yeah. So I lived there from basically from June to June, and I came back last June, so I've been back almost a year. Okay. And yeah, that's it. And yeah, what? yeah, uh, out there for a year and saw nobody. Saw nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. You saw me. I saw you. You know, I saw the guys, but I mean, like, I never went into Vancouver once. I lived in Port Coquitlam. Okay. Worked in Langley. One watch day. Watch out! Watch out! I was at uh, Mike Pryor's uh, Lady Luck. Okay. It's been there for like 30 years, yeah. 31 years or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Lady and, Luck uh, Langley. But uh, yeah, I was driving in to go see Sam Smith one day. She was yeah. in hanging out with Stace, Water Street Phantom. And I'm like, I'm going to go in for lunch. I got to Burnaby and just turned around. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? I was just anxiety? Like, uh, yeah, just old anxiety. Old man anxiety. Like, old man anxiety. I'm like, I, I don't. I don't want to find parking. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Just like. That is all bad. Oh, yeah, get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Yeah. <laughs> parking. What the? Yeah. No. But hey. But then I, I went to Calgary and saw Sam in person. And I finally got to see her shop and stuff. So. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why aren't you tattooing on the show? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like I said, we don't have a booth. It was very last minute. Just want to You know you can get out. your own booth. I know. <laughs> This is last minute. I just want to hang out. You gonna do other tattooers? You gonna do any other conventions this year? I think that I will. I miss the environment. I do. Yeah. I miss the camaraderie, the socializing. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. This, it's nice. This one seems pretty good for socializing too. It's not like mad hectic where you can't get a chance to talk to each other. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have a private room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty nice. I don't know too much about you, Dave. Uh, are you tattooing too? I'm a piercer. Piercer, piercer. Yeah. Where, where, you, where <laughs> you working out of? That, he's joking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Testing me. Am Sh- I going to fucking make fun of him? <laughs> <laughs> Sean actually got me into tattooing. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, Sacred Heart back in the day. Yeah. And I tattoo in uh, Kelowna. Kelowna? Yeah. Oh, you live in a nice place. Yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find a house I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, he just celebrated his 20 years. Yeah. Tattooing. Oh, nice. Yeah, Good yeah. for you. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm going to look you up. What's your Instagram? Uh, third Sun Tattoo. Third Sun. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to see there. I don't think I've posted <laughs> in a year. To see. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, and Sun, like S O N, because yeah. he's the third, third Sun. Third Sun. Yeah, S-O-N. it's funny how many people think I'm talking like about science fiction shit. 
like yeah. three sons. <laughs> three sons. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you're into all those psychedelics, so. Yeah, totally. Surprising. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one with the tall glass of scotch there. That's <laughs> just sitting there airing out. This is alcohol. It's very adult. Psychedelic. You know, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is nice, actually. Age, 12 years. Nice. It's Irish. Yeah. From Shan. From Shan. Thank you, Shan. Yeah, yeah totally. Him buying his way onto the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Shan. <laughs> you should have been here last night for his tracksuit. I saw it. Oh, did you see I it? I was here last oh, night. Oh, were you yeah, here last yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And you know what? It took me a while to clue in because I didn't, I wasn't working the booth, so I didn't get any of the info. It was just like, oh, you guys are all wearing tracksuits. <laughs> 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 I had no idea it was for Ben until I saw like. Oh, uh, fuck. I didn't know that. Yeah, for Ben Allway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I had oh, no I idea that. until they oh, did the fuck. the bad tattoo display, and then oh, his okay. picture kept showing up, and I was like, "What are they doing?" He started crying. Start crying. Yeah. Oh fuck. And then I'm like, "Oh, is that why they're all wearing tracksuits?" And then the kids at the um, that were manning like the coming the doors were wearing tracksuits. I was like, "I got to ask." I'm like, "Hey, why are you dressed like that?" Yeah. He's like, "Oh, it's like for like some guy named Ben Allway." I was like, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. She worked with Ben for years. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah good friends. Yeah. Ben was there at the beginning of my apprenticeship. Oh, you yeah, know? Nice. Good yeah. homies forever. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. So Fuck. I didn't expect that. I was like, it took me a long time to like realize, oh, oh I see. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't fucking realize it either. There were so many you dudes in tracksuits last night that I, I was betting that in the next six months, there'll be a tracksuit trend in Edmonton. <laughs> there'll be so many young kids who say, oh, man, well, tracksuits oh are cool. God. There already was, yeah. right? Like 2014-ish, everybody was back to wearing like the red and white or the black and white Adidas. Oh, yeah. Well, tracksuit. Yeah. Yeah. But they were like, I bought one. And I was like, they weren't the classic fit. You bought one? I can't picture you in a tracksuit. <laughs> I, like, I used to wear tracksuits all the time. They didn't have the stirrups group. under the heels? No, that would have been sweet. <laughs> no, like the pants just were, it just didn't fit well. Uh, yeah, it's just whatever. No, I used to have a black on black with gold stitching, uh-huh. uh, limited edition velour tracksuit from Adidas that my no. buddy that was sponsored by them gave me. And I used to rock that thing all the time. And then you go to the clubs and people on fucking ecstasy and shit. All of a sudden, you would feel hands on you. <laughs> and they'd just be fucking rubbing me. And I'd just be like, this is great. <laughs> you liked it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I wore it all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like my friends all high would just be like, hey. Like, just been rubbing me down. Be like, sweet. Lower. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Yeah, Ben, that was a bummer to hear about. But. Yes. It's okay. Some time has passed, so it's not so fresh yeah. anymore. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. So, are you gonna do any traveling this year? Do you do anything? Are you riding your bike still? Uh, I have so many questions for you. I haven't I seen you in so long. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I am riding. I still got two motorcycles, so I can't okay. ride my other one. Sweet. But uh, yeah, I feel like a pussy. I just haven't fixed that one. Yet. <laughs> 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 uh. I'm allowed to say pussy on it. <laughs> you fucking say whatever you say want. Whatever you, want. <laughs> you just own what you yeah. say. So yeah. Fucking, oh, yeah. Just don't say the R word, Hedley. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting retarded in here. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> it was the alcohol. I blame Shan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. No, seriously, though, are you, like, you going to travel this year at all? Like, Not just for conventions, but like, are you, what are you doing? I don't know. I am trying to get back on top of financial things. Okay. So that's where I'm at. Yeah. 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 I do want to travel. I do. Yeah. But I probably just do like um, close by conventions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like within Canada. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck, if you're having another one, I'm fucking having another one. Jesus yeah, do Christ. It. I don't want you to feel bad. Like, look at that. Trust <laughs> me, she doesn't, fucking, Thanks, she doesn't fucking feel bad. <laughs> The only thing she's thinking is like, sweet, there's going to be more in that bottle for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the longest podcast. Right. To Ben. I'm just thinking Shan bought, Shan bought these. Yeah. yeah. But to, to Ben. <laughs> oh, awesome. Gets smoother and smoother. Right. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so when is, so is the shop open? It's just not finished yet? Or is we're it still o- under your open? We're open. We're operating. It looks really nice in there. 
We just have a few things like baseboards, fucking couple of walls to put oh, up, okay. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, tattoo shops know. never get finished. They <laughs> yeah. never get finished. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always something yeah. that you want. Yeah, to but like if we just finish up putting like the glass wall and the rest of the baseboards, we could put some artwork up. Right now, there's no artwork. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. just got to look at you guys' face all day. <laughs> <laughs> they got nice faces. So. <laughs> they got to look cool. at my face all day. <laughs> and is it still locked? It's a locked door shop, isn't it? Like, you guys aren't doing yeah. walk-ins or anything. So. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's all appointment only. So. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Well, fucking, if you don't follow her, follow her. Your tattoos on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty new to Instagram still, too, I feel. like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, what we should do is we media. should just, what we just, for, for people that don't know Yura, what we need to do is just have her drink and we can follow her around with a camera I'm good at, I'm and good put at stories up <laughs> and then she'll have 50,000 <laughs> followers. Haley, remember you were like, um, you were in a grappling shirt. Yeah. I remember you were being like, let me know when you're in a jiu-jitsu or right? <laughs> you know, with this kickboxing stuff. But I, I started jits. Did you? I have started. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? I do love it. That's fucking cool. <laughs> yes. It is just the art of like submitting somebody. Yeah. So it is pretty cool. Because I'm not going to lie. At first I was like, okay, right, right, <laughs> yeah. right? Like I'd rather strike. But then like, yeah, I'm, I'm all about it now. Awesome. So, like, nice. Where are you training at? Kamikaze. Oh, so that's where I started. I know. They, yeah. they know you or something. Yeah, yeah. Jared, the, Jared Busemaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared yeah, Green. was up there. He so gave me my, sick. He gave me my first class. Yes. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. There Fucking you go. love Jared. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, that yeah. gym, yeah, they started me out, you know, and just, it was time for me to, to you know, go somewhere new or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I love that guy. That's awesome. <laughs> Stoked. That's right, because you were doing kickboxing yeah. there with Richard and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you stuck it out and did started doing, yeah. But I'm still not going to roll with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking mean. You definitely he, don't want to roll. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. Did, you didn't even see my. Oh, did you see my post of me smothering that guy? <laughs> mm, I think you showed me a video of you smothering. Oh, guy. Yeah, yeah. You enjoy that thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> a little bit of like hip thrust action. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh That's yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. <laughs> Full hand. Over nose and mouth. Yeah, just legitimate and legal in some tournaments. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Very cool. Awesome, Yura. Thanks for letting us Thanks kidnap guys. you in our little secret private room here. Finish that scotch. Right. Finish that scotch. Done. There it is. Peace. Boom. Boom.